Well, it is Ragaraf. I am back again, and today is Monday for me. You'll see this on a Tuesday. But Firehose have released their next update for us, and this one is called Belt Hubs and Storage Limiting. And it looks like we have Lauren with us today. So these are coming in 0 0.3. So let's have a listen and see what she has to say. What's up, everybody? It is Lauren back with another weekly update for Tectonica. Uh, this week, we are going to progress talking about our version 0.3, the factory efficiency update. We don't have a release date for that yet. Uh, I know some people have been asking. We don't have a set one yet, but as soon as we know, you will know. Um, so we've already announced the roadmap for that. Um, on it, you will have seen stack filter inserters, vertical belts, quick copy and the replacement tool, storage limiting, and even more. So we're going to talk about some of that even more today and also talk about the chest limiting that we have. So what is going to be in that even more? Well, one of the items is going to be manual placement of belt hubs. So the splitters and mergers that you have, <gasps> those like big yes. boxes, you will now Okay, so if you've seen my video yesterday, day before, I did find a bug with the splitters, which really bugged me. Yes, pun intended. Uh, but uh, it wouldn't split three ways unless you had the belt underneath the splitter actually pointing in a certain direction so that was a, a bit of a, a weird bug but hopefully this will resolve that i'll be able to manually place those um and they actually are going to be the first thing that you can also change the variant of once it's been built um you can either change the variant menu before you place them down and you kind of just place like the little box hub or when you're looking at a belt you can change it into a hub um it, before this was done automatically so you know when belts all came together awesome. there would be a merger when belts split apart there would be because sometimes you didn't want them to merge or you didn't want it to split. And no matter how you set the belts up, it would do it anyway. So this is a brilliant change. A splitter, um, you know, you could have two in, two out, etc. Uh, and now you'll be able to have auto placement, but you will also be able to place them manually, which allows for a lot more fine tuning. Um, what's kind of funny is that, um, so code wise, like the hubs are just still belts under the hood. Um, Lester thinks that maybe there's just a spinning belt underneath that that's what it is underneath, but it's just a belt. <laughs> and, um, what's kind of funny is that the, uh, he, when he was coding this, he realized that when hubs are by themselves, they're actually in like stasis. Um, he, this is what it says. I'm going to read it. Belt current state equals belt state dot exist existential contemplation. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so once you put the belts on either side of it, I don't know if that code's real, by the way, don't quote me on that. Um, but once you place belts on either side of it is when it actually starts working. So that's why you're not going to see like different types of splitters and mergers. You're just going to see a hub. Um, so it is really nice that you're going to be able to fine tune those. I think it'll help a lot more with your factories. Um, you still will need to leave a, a one belt in between hubs. You can't do like hub hub. But um, one thing that did get fixed, however, is you can have a curve going in or out of a belt uh, hub now, which plagued me a lot say that, when trying that I to did build notice, fuel lines. Um, that I noticed that when they did it just now, and I was thinking in my head, can we, we can do that before. I'm sure we can do that before. <laughs> but yeah, now we can. Awesome. That was, oh, that was one of the things that I really wanted to get fixed and was my kind of flag that I kept raising. So I'm really excited that one that, is fixed that will too. Make It'll for make much uh, building those belts a lot easier. Belt as well. So we've Brilliant. talked about the splitters and mergers. And next we are going to talk about storage limiting. So this has been hotly requested. It was definitely upvoted a lot on our feedback website. So it mentioned on Discord a lot, even in stream. Um, and you know, what a lot of people have been doing is just putting limestone in those chests to fill up the spaces. But now you can just drag over and limit your chest. So there are a few rules to this. So first off, uh, if you drag over yes. stuff that's already gonna be in a chest, it will stay there. It's not gonna get kicked out. However, you won't be able to add those slots. You can pull out from them with inserters. Like say you drag it over and there's like three slots that, that have items in them. You will be able to pull those items out with inserters, but you're not gonna be able to fill back up even if it's the same item. Similarly, storage limiting is not affected by dragging items by hand. Um, that's kind of covered as like a manual override. Yeah, that's that's good, I think, because uh, if you just want to dump stuff in a box, you don't want to mess about with the actual limiting. 
If you're gonna drag something over, it's gonna still play some one of those things because the game's just gonna assume that you actually really wanna do that. However, when you click like mass move, like move all from your inventory, like move all limestone, if you do have slots that are covered by the storage limiter, those won't get filled. So it's only if you drag and drop specifically into those spaces. So that is what I have for you this week, folks. Um, we are very excited about both those items. We're still gonna be talking about those for the next uh, you know, couple of weeks, however long it is until 0.3 comes out. So we're- Couple of weeks till 0.3, confirmed by Lauren. <laughs> going to be talking about a lot of the different features coming uh last week we talked about stack filter inserters and we have a few more things that even more category as well that are not like the banner parts of this update so stay tuned to find out more about them and also we have this little secret we have uh one of our update packs coming soon so also get really excited for Ooh, that because your it'll update be here pack. Soon. and i'm not going to talk anymore about it but i thought i'd give you a little teaser oh, tease. and i will see you guys next week thanks so much Bye bye Okay, so that is great this week, guys. Those are, th that's some things, well, you know, I didn't even realize that uh, the filter or the splitter was actually um, something they were working on. So that's brilliant. And being able to make the belts tighter and fit into them without having to come one out first is also brilliant. And yeah, apparently we've got another content pack coming soon. Anyway, uh, if you think Lauren let slip that a couple of weeks, not really, then uh, comment down below. But anyway, go and watch the original video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.